I once walked in to one of the largest data warehouses in the world. It was in the Teza warehouse. I was talking to the data warehouse manager and they said, you know what? We are joining two tables thousands of times a day. And I go, oh, that's got to be putting a big hit on the system. They go, no, not a hit at all. And I go, how'd you manage that? And they go, we made the joining column the distribution key for both of those tables so there's never any cross spoo movement to make the joins happen. That's the brilliance of designing these tables is to say how often does this table join to this table? Oh, once a year? Hey, that's easy. We don't have to worry about the distribution key based on joins. Oh, this is joining 10,000 times a day to this table? We're going to probably want to make the join column, the distribution key on both, and you have just saved a company millions of dollars. You're a superstar. Get ready for that race. When you're joining two tables on Cusno, and you make Cusno the distribution key of both of them, this is how the data lines up right here. We're going to be joining on Cusno and Cusno. I've put that in red for you. Hey, on SPU 1, there's 1, 2, 3. On SPU 2, there's 4, 5, 6. It's all in line and perfectly ready to be joined. In that explain plan, there's going to be no redistribution. There's going to be no broadcast. It's going to be as simple as spoos, bring your blocks into memory, join them right here, deliver the report. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.